Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder, and today I'm going to share with you a small tutorial explaining how to change the appearance of scroll to top button on your Blocks website. And if you are a Blocks Master student, you probably already know how to do that. I have done this video for a Blocks Master Mastering Blocks 3 course. You can see it is in button buttons category. It says adjusting scroll to top button. But recently I have uh, seen a lot of people, a couple of my students, a couple of my uh, Blocks templates members have been asking about how to change the design of scroll to top button and I have decided to include this in this week's tutorial. So let's go back to Blocks and here I have the September template. And as you can see, it looks quite cool, but the scroll to top button is still the same default style and this is something i see quite a lot well i don't know if i will be able to show it here live in this video but if you go to this build this blocks gallery i have and we can find like some randomly let's pick one website which looks quite different something like i don't know let's i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to pick a website and well make somebody feel bad but for example let's just take one website any website well let's say this one i don't know who well i don't want to do that <laughs> uh, let's try this one for example and the website looks quite well different you can see that it is a blocks website but you can see that this person uh, put some effort into making the colorful scheme and everything but at the end of the day, you can see that in the bottom right corner, it still has this default scroll to top button from Bootstrap or any blocks website for that matter. Let's try and find some another website. I think this one is very good. And I think this one will have, oh, it also has the default scroll to top button. I actually expected this website to have some custom design because the site itself is just amazing. And you can see that the designer done a very good job like uh, making something unique but the scroll to top button tells us this is a blocks website so i think that it is pre pretty much necessary it's essential step in your web design process when you work with blocks to change the design of scroll to top button to something which will align with the design of this website if i was the designer of this website i will probably put the well, gold color as a background and maybe white color as this icon. And for shape, I think that, well, square or round would, would both work quite nice here. So, you know what I'm talking about now? Let's go to blocks and let's edit this thing. Right now, you can see that it is kind of a rounded square, this white icon. If we go to edit mode, let's go to class manager and all you need to do is go to this plus button and add the class from subclass library it's a very useful actually library if you don't know what it is this is the list of classes which are baked into blocks these are not all classes there are much more but these ones were kindly put there by the developers so you can easily add them to your class manager and adjust when you want so Take a look at all of them when you have time, but in this video, of course, we will take a look at scroll to top button. Let's select it. And you can see that when we do that at class, it will appear at the end of our, at the bottom of our class manager. So let's open it. And obviously the reason why so many people miss this uh, scroll to top button, they don't think about it because you can't see it here on the working canvas. You need to go to preview or to the live site to actually see it. So when changing the appearance, we need to basically do it from our memory. So I will take a look at this and I think that I want to make this maybe a little bit more, well, this website is has very round corners. So I think I will make this round or maybe a little bit rounded, rounder than it is right now. And I will make this, well, black or maybe gradient black we will see and i will make the icon white so let's go back here and well there are a few things we obviously can change so well first of all let's go to the second tab 
and this is where you will do most of the adjusting actually so for the radius for the shape of this button if you want completely round, you can put some high number for example 100 pixels this will give you the completely round button which i think might be a good one for this website or we can make something like 15 pixels this will be something between the uh, the square and round so i think something like that will find will be working fine so this is for the radius and for the color of the background well like i said we can use a solid color for example let's actually, let's actually make it just black just black for now and let's go back to our preview and you can see it is already black button and it does have some other color on hover we will change that as well but you can see that we have already changed the color of this button now let's go back here open the class again and well we can make this some gradient let's say black this blue something like that i have never done that actually let's let's see how it looks actually it looks not bad it looks quite quite good but we really need to adjust the the color on hover because right now it's not very good so i will switch back to solid color i don't think this button requires some gradient but if you want you can do that let's go to hover state and this will be what we see on hover when we hover the mouse over this button and i will have some slightly brighter black here so let's go back and see and you can see it works quite fine well we can maybe change this a little bit more actually let's make it something like that because i have a lot of black color on my page this button will be visible because the icon is white it won't be visible very much so if i change it to something like that you can see that it is visible on white background and on black background so you do what you like it's up to you you are a designer but i'm just telling you that this is how you do it and i really recommend you do that because this will give your website a much more professional look and it will make sure that your website looks more unique and once again we can go to the typography third tab and we can change the color of the icon here so for example let's make it let's make it white on the well in normal and on hover if you want to change it a little bit let's make it silver for example just to show how you can change it let's go back to preview mode and you can see that both the background and icon change on hover once again i wouldn't change the color of the icon i will just leave it at white and i will just add some dark background and a little bit different background on hover to get the best best look in my opinion but well, you can obviously change the shape once again to make it round or square it's up to you so um, this is it for this week's tutorial if you have any questions or need help with anything as always i am here to help leave all your questions in the comments below or contact me at elder at hey.com have a nice week Goodbye.